finding a rule of a graph, using the graph to table to rule idea, or using the concept of the gradient intercept form, which I'll explain y equals mx plus b. So when we are given a rule, we make a table of values and we graph it. What that means is we can reverse that from a graph, we can make a table of values and find the rule. So here we've got a graph that hasn't been labeled with its rule and a blank table of values. This is one of the um, ways that we first learn how to find a rule. We put in our coordinates based on these points. So when x is negative 1, y is 2. When x is 0, y is 0. 2, negative 4, 3, negative 6. And this uses the pattern that we've been spotting so many times, that we've talked about, that when x is 0, the number or the value of y will be the number that's on its own in the rule. So this is actually saying this rule has no number on its own. It's just got 0. And we've also noticed that the pattern in the y values, this is going down by 2 every time x goes up by 1, is the coefficient of x. So we can find the rule just noting that when x is 0, the y value is the constant in the rule, the number that's on its own. And the pattern in the y values is the coefficient of x. So, my rule here is y equals negative 2x plus 0 because that's the value that's here. And this is the graph of y equals negative 2x. We can check. Negative 2 times negative 1, 2. Negative 2 times 0, 0. Negative 2 times 1, negative 2. So that is one way of finding a rule when you have a graph. Now actually, y equals mx plus b is a short way of saying what I've just said here. b, incidentally some people write this y equals mx plus c, it means the same thing. Remember c for constant? This is just saying your rule looks like y equals a number times x plus a constant. Our constant is the y-intercept. It's the point, it's the y-value where the line crosses the y-axis. So this has a y-intercept of 0. This line has a y-intercept of 2. This line has a y-intercept of negative 3. It's the y-intercept and it's the y-value when x equals 0. m is the coefficient of x and it is the gradient, the slope of the line and coefficient of x so the coefficient of x is the slope now when I talk about gradient because gradient has the symbol little m the formula is rise over run or we could think about that as how much the line went up or down, rise or fall, over how much the line went across. What that means is, we'll have a look at this one. 
you take any two points, let's take 0, 0 and 1, negative 2, and it's nice and easy to take two points that are next to each other in x values. If I was finding the gradient for this slope, m equals rise over run. Between these two points, how much did the line go up or down? It went down two points, so my rise is actually a drop of two. How much did it go across? Run. It went across one. My gradient, my slope, negative two divided by one is negative two. That's how we get that coefficient of x straight from a graph, instead of putting it into a table to find the pattern, we find it from two points. And it means it's the amount that y goes up or down when x goes across 1. Or down 2 across 1. So if we did this, this method for these two graphs, make this graph 1, that can be line 2. So line 1, we've got to find the gradient first. The gradient is rise over run. Between these two points, any two points, it goes up 1 and across 1. 1 divided by 1 equals 1. The gradient is 1, so the coefficient of x is 1. Then we just need to take the rule y equals mx plus b. That will be y equals 1x, so I don't need to write the 1, x. Then I go back to the line, I get the y-intercept, positive 2, plus 2. This line is y equals x plus 2. We didn't need to make a table of values. I'm running out of space for this next line here. I might just get some extra paper in here. So this line here, find the gradient from two points. Let's use that one and that one. Rise over run. How much did it go up or down? It went down two. It went across one. My gradient here again is negative two. Write the rule for any line. Y equals mx plus b. Where the m is, we put our gradient. We check the y-intercept, it's negative 3, y equals 2x minus 3. Negative 2x minus 3. A line that slopes downwards will have a negative gradient. A line that slopes up will have a positive gradient. This is called the gradient intercept form of a line. And any straight line can be written like that.